You know, there's a common misconception out there that just because your plastic bags are, well, plastic, that you can put them in your mixed recycling cart at home. Uh-uh-uh, we should not do that. You know, if these plastic bags actually make it to the sorting facility, they can actually slow down the process of recycling. Come on, let's take a look. Welcome to Waste Connections in Vancouver. This is where your recycling items end up for processing. We recycle everything that comes in the, in the blue carts. Uh, majority of it is paper fiber, newspapers, office paper, cardboard, um, all the types of plastics that go in the blue cart uh, all get recovered at this facility. First, uh, the collection vehicles bring the material in and drop it at the, on our transfer station floor. Then a wheel loader takes the material and drops it into an infeed bunker. Uh, that infeed bunker feeds a conveyor line that start, is the beginning of the system. It starts off on our pre-sort area where we have a three to four sorters that are pulling uh, plastic film, um, any trash, large metal items, or any other contaminant in the system. From then it goes through a series of mechanical screens that sort out cardboard and separate paper from containers. Once the material gets separated, the containers uh, go to a container line where they get picked out. Pop bottles go together, milk jugs get pulled out, colored detergent bottles get pulled out. The paper, um, as it gets separated from the containers, we have 9 to 12 sorters uh, on those lines that pull any contaminant from the newspaper and separate that out. At that time, all the material through both lines goes into bunkers where it is then baled and sent off to market. Sounds like a very efficient system for creating a near zero waste stream, but simple plastic bags can get in the way. Plastic film and plastic bags are different from other plastics because they are very flexible. When they enter the system, they're very difficult to deal with. They wrap around um, all of the shafts. When they wrap around the system, they start to close the gaps in the system, which are used to sort out different size of material and starts causing materials to go where they're not supposed to be. As the holes start to close up in the screens, we start to get more containers that flow into the paper because the holes are smaller, they can't fall through. They start to ride into the paper and we physically have to pick those out of the paper so the system actually has to slow down um, as we get more of that wrap in the system. And then it gets to the point every two or three hours where we have to shut the system completely down. We have to send people, usually three to four people inside of the screens um, with, with box knives. Um, they have to be harnessed in and they get inside the screens and have to physically cut the material uh, off the shafts and off the discs. So there is an increased risk of, of injury when we have to do that. We estimate 20 to 30 percent of our sorting labor is spent dealing with um, getting plastic uh, bags and plastic film out of the recycling system and in the long run end up costing the general consumers more money. So how can we as consumers be part of the solution rather than the problem? First, it starts with knowing what you can put in your recycling bin. I think the general perception of the, of the public is if it has a number on it or a recycling symbol that it can be thrown in the cart. And that's really not the case. And it's best to check with your hauler or with the county or with the city to determine what can go in the blue cart. The best place to deal with plastic bags is to take them back to your grocery store. They can be kept clean. And they're very good markets for clean plastic bags and film. So to review, when you put your plastic bags into your recycling cart, they end up here with all the other plastics, metals, and paper. Instead of going cleanly through the system, they get caught in the rollers designed to separate the materials. Four times a day, the system has to be shut down and cleaned of plastic bags that get caught up in rollers. This takes time away from the recycling process and puts the valuable workers in harm's way when they have to climb into the machine to clean it. We need to change the way that we recycle our plastic bags. The good news is you don't have to make a special trip just to recycle your plastic bags. Most grocery stores have a bin similar to this one. Just put them in and you're done. And next time, try a reusable bag. For more information, visit us at www.recyclinga-z.com.